Hiya, this is the first bid, second lesson for the exponential growth in the UK. Um, let's go for it. No. <laughs> Elephants, awesome. Uh, loads, oh, there's loads of questions there, that's good. Right, so this is your second lesson. So it says the population, P, 100 cells, grows accordingly to that exponential growth. Find the value of A. So it tells us from the table that initially P is 4. So if I use T is 0 and P is 4, so 4 is A, E to the power 0. So 4 is A. So that tells me that my equation is 4E, 1 over 20, lots of T. And I've got a table there to fill in. I'm going to show you um, how to use the table function, because I don't think we've used the table function on our calculator. So for the table function, you've actually got this on your normal Casio calculators. Uh, so I'm going to go into table, and believe it or not. Much more awake, guys. It's first morning now. Put in the equation, so I enter the equation. Which is 4e to the 1 over 20x. So enter my equation. Then I do f5 for set. Right, so it starts at 0, it ends, hold on, change that to 0. <clears throat> It ends at 15. And if you look, the numbers go up in fives. So the step is five. Then just press X here a thousand times. Or maybe twice, two times. And there's my numbers. So at zero, it was four. Now you've got to be careful with this. It does something called truncating. So it removes, just it just chops it off. It doesn't round it up properly. So that 5.1361 might actually be 5.1362. So you've got to look at the number. So that's okay, it's 5.1361. The pack's actually done it just to three decimal places. So 5.136. We just need to check. So look, if you look at that one, it's 488. So really that should show us 49. So I'm going to do it at 6. 595 in the three decimal places. <coughs> and the last one is 468, 8.468. Right. So you can kind of see it's an exponential growth. I'm not going to plot it, I'm just going to do a sketch. So that would be 4, that would be P, and that would be T. Right. Right. Part B then. Uh, the, what is the rate of increase? Oh, right, okay. So just remember, rate of increase is differentiation. So I want dp by dt. Four is just a number, so that stays there. And if you remember, with differentiating in, you differentiate the power, so that's 1 over 20, and then you just multiply it by the original power, 1 over 20t. So my dp, my dp by dt will be 4 over 20, so 1 over 5, p, so the 1 over 20t. So I've done the rate of increase, but it's when t is 5. So when t is 5, my d, p, d, t is 1 over 5, e, to the 1 over 20, lots of 5. Uh, stick it in your calculator. Do you want my alarm here? Got a calculator? Might as well use it. So menu 1, and I'm going to do 1 over 5, uh, e, and then um, I'm doing 5 over 20. 5 over 20 is a quarter. There. 
Uh, so D three. That's it. If it doesn't really tell us what accuracy we should really do to that three sig fig, so 0 0.257 to three sig fig. Yeah. Okay. Now that is hundreds of cells per minute. So if that's hundreds of cells per minute. You could argue that it's 25.7 cells a minute. Per minute. Right, there's a second example. I'm going to stop this a bit there. 